Welcome to an introduction to accounting, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, just find us on Facebook. Just look up Parkbench Tutors. In this podcast, we are going to take a first look at absorption as part of cost accounting. There are other ways of sharing costs besides just using a unit rate, so we're going to look at absorption in this podcast. Frequent alternatives are considering things such as rate per direct labour hour, per machine hour, or as a percentage of materials, percentage of wages, or a percentage of total costs. It's important to notice these are rates which are going to be based on the estimated costs of overheads. For example, the estimated costs for a factory and drama division are shown for direct materials 85,000, for direct labour 156,000, direct expenses 42,000, giving a total of direct costs for 283,000, and the factory overhead is 84,000, so the total for all costs 367,000, with production of 18,000 units. If I want to absorb based on a percentage, I could absorb based on a percentage of materials, which would come to 99%, or for wages, which would come to 54%, or for total direct costs, which would come to 30%. If I based it on units, I'd simply divide the 84,000, which are the overhead costs, by 18,000, which is the number of units, I'd get a figure of £4.67 per unit for absorption. Okay, how would we choose? Well, the rate per unit is only really useful when all the units that are going to be produced are the same. Otherwise, you have to consider which has significance for each item. If, for example, one item uses four times the number of materials for item B, and the indirect costs didn't differ greatly, well, if you would just use percentage of material costs, then you get an overhead charge which was far too high for A. So, we're looking for things that might be better, and our two candidates here are going to be rate per direct labour hour and the rates per machine hour. So what we need to know is how much time does it take to produce one unit in terms of labour, and how much time does it take using machine time. We'll consider IO technology, which have got three production lines, optical instruments, cameras and laptop computers and here are their production details. You can see we have the number of planned units for each one, optical camera and laptops, a total of 20,000 units. We have the direct labour time per unit, you can see it takes far more time for the laptop at 4.5 hours compared to the optical items which only take 0.5 hours per unit. In the machine time per unit you can see that a similar pattern is followed it takes more time for the laptop than it does for the optical units. So let's look at direct labour hours. We'll consider just first of all the optical one. We have 5,000 planned units and we have a labour figure of 0 0.50 hours per unit. So if I multiply 5,000 by 0 0.50 I will get the total time needed and here we are for the optical items and the total time needed is 2,500. I can do the same thing for cameras, the same thing for laptops, I will get a figure of 42,500. So, if my total factory overheads were 150,000, my absorption rate per labour hour would be, I'd divide the 150,000 by the 42,500 total time, I would get a figure of £3.53 as the absorption rate per labour hour. So I've now got to apply this. So if my figure is 353 per labour hour, to apply it to the opticals, I would multiply 353 by 0.5 hours. Why? It takes 0.5 hours to produce each optical item, and the absorption that we're trying to cope with is 3.53 per hour. So 3.53 times 0.50, giving 1.77. If I did the same thing for cameras, I would find I would get a figure of 8.12 and for laptops for 15.89. So if I charged overhead on the basis of direct labour hours, those would be the figures I would be using. Supposing I wanted to use machine time, 
My planned units for each are shown, 20,000 units in total, 5,000 for the optical items, and the machine time per unit is shown, 0.25 for the optical items. So when I multiply 5,000 by 0.25, I get a figure of 1,250 for the optical items, and similarly I will get figures of 5,000 for the cameras, 6,000 for the laptops. If my absorption rate per machine hour is used, I then have to look at the total, 12,250, and I'm going to divide the 150,000 for the overheads by the 12,250 to give me a figure of 12.24 pounds per machine hour. So, using machine time, the overhead that I would give to or allocate to each unit for the optic optical ones, it would be multiply 12.24 four by 0.25 I will get an answer of 3.06 for the cameras it will come out at 4.90 and for the laptops at 29.38 so if you want to compare them if we allocate on the basis of machine time the each optical unit would get 3.06 in terms of allocation for direct labor it would only be 1.77 if you look at the cameras the cameras if allocated on machine time would be 4.90 but on direct labor would be 8.12 per unit so which should we use well we would look at uh, w whether the overheads really related to the time for workers in other words was it concerned with heating and other overheads then we might want to use direct labor if on the other hand most of the overhead was related to machine maintenance then we might want to consider using machine time instead so there isn't a definite rule you actually have to look at what makes up that overhead remember then that these rates are calculations from budgets so at the end of the period they have to be compared to actual costs and we need to consider what happens if there are differences well, if there are differences, we have what is called under or over absorption of overhead. Those amounts actually have to be calculated and adjustments are needed because if we use the wrong figures, then incorrect figures for absorption would result in an error in the statement of the figure for profit for the year. That ends our first podcast on absorption, brought to you by Park Bench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. You can find us on Facebook under Park Bench Tutors. Or, if you want to have all the podcasts as a playlist for any particular topic, just visit parkventuses.com and sign up for Moodle. Thank you for watching and listening. We wish you success in your studies.